Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm testing out a Dior Matte Lipstick. This is a little sample I got in the in the shade 999 Matte. And as you might imagine from such a name, the shade itself is just a beautiful red red lipstick. So these lipsticks are not cheap, obviously. I think they retail for about 42 Canadian dollars. I just checked, but I just forgot. But let's just get applying and then I'll wear it throughout the day, see how it lasts, and yeah, give my overall feeling about this. So it has virtually no scent. I would say maybe just a hint, a tiny hint of vanilla. All right, so first impressions is it feels great on the lips. It feels very moisturizing, very smooth and creamy. Got some on my teeth. Oops. The shape of the bullet is really helpful for getting a nice shape. It's kind of a weird shape, kind of a really simple shape but it definitely helps you to get a precise line around your lips. The color itself is a very beautiful true true red. You can see it's got maybe a hint, not of gloss, but there's definitely like some highlight there. When I do my follow-up check-in right away in natural light, we can take a look and see if it's gotten any matter at all. Aside from that, the packaging is very nice, very sturdy, kind of an interesting, unique tube. No color identifier, which is a little annoying depending on how many lipsticks you have but overall I like it overall no complaints and I have tested the cap it does not come off in your bag which is one of my absolute pet peeves so great there kind of a basic lipstick requirement I would say but I have had some lipsticks where the cap does come off and it is so annoying enough ranting this will probably be a quick video today so let us go throughout the day and see how this stuff performs Bye. Do you think it looks any different than my <laughs> like $10 L'Oreal Paris? It's a pretty color. I have so many of this color, but I love it. It's pretty patchy. All right, this is post coffee. It's not, it's not perfect. I'm gonna do more. Now I think I'm going to coffee date number two. <laughs> hey guys, we just got back to the gym and I'm gonna retouch, but first let's quickly do the advent calendar. Yeah. So today is the eighth. Today is the eighth. It's up so here. So up here, can you guys see? This camera is not the best auto focus and my hair looks so trashed. Ooh, it's a blusher. Ooh. Special size. Number 34, oriental red. Magnetized, all these packs I'm noticing are magnetized on the back, so I can totally just drop this into... Yeah, like, <laughs> container. That's what it's called, right? Yeah. Boom. All right, so let's get this lipstick on. Dad, go cook dinner. <laughs> so we're about to eat some pizza because we just went to the gym and worked really hard and so I'm gonna reapply this lipstick you can see it's still kind of on it's kind of just stained now there's nothing coming off if I kiss it mm, but the inner lips are a little bit like wonky so I'm just gonna reapply Such a pretty color. Blots. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm using some translucent powder. I'm gonna powder my lips. And then another layer of lipstick. Alright, let's see how this holds out. Alright, you guys, so here we are a full 12 hours later. Let's take a close-up look. 
You can see that even after pizza, they still have a good stain left on my lips. However, there is a little bit of wear just in the center of my lips. The formula itself is very comfortable to wear. It is a normal lipstick, so it does need reapplied, I'd say every three or four hours. It lasts decently through a meal. You still get a lot, good amount of stain and like your lips definitely look red, but you, at the same time, you definitely will need to touch up as well. So for $42, I think this is a beautiful matte formula. However, in terms of lasting power and ease and comfort, I'm not sure it's any better than like my L'Oreal Paris that I did a couple videos back in my holiday glam video. Or if you want to spend a little bit extra, something like the Basame red color or the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lip. This is probably the least comfortable because it is a liquid lipstick, but it's definitely super stain powder. And let's just compare the colors here. Here is American Doll. There's the Basame Red. So kind of different. Just you you wouldn't would you really know that they're different colors? I feel like this one's gonna be the most different. But maybe not. It's very similar. I really like this color of red, so this is the L'Oreal Paris. This is maybe the warmest, and actually maybe it is more similar to the Basame red color. Can you tell the difference? Can you? Can you? Would you pay 40 extra dollars for just like a normal average lipstick? Or would you be content with like the $10 version? Let's compare one more. Let's do the Urban Decay 714 Mega Matte. All right, so there's the Urban Decay 714. Yeah? Yeah? Cheaper, 42 Canadian dollars for this one. Maybe, I don't, I don't remember guys, $30 for the Urban Decay or the base me. That might be a little high. About 20 Canadian dollars for this one maybe, and $10 for that one, so. I don't, I don't, I don't get the difference. Any of these will look great on me. It's just not that like super special or remarkable. So all that being said, it is comfortable to wear. It's nice feeling. It's very light on your lips. Like you don't, you forget you're wearing lipstick at all. As the day goes on, there's hardly any transfer. You can see I just applied and pretty much no transfer. So very nice. Not a huge amount that comes off throughout the day. If it does come off, it's still pretty, pretty much stained your lips for the most part, but not completely. Overall, my rating would be... Like it definitely passes. So I'll say two and a half out of five. Not to say I don't like it, um, but the packaging is average slash standard. The lid stays on, which is like the most important thing. The bullet shape is really nice, but is it like three times the price nice? I don't believe so. Um, price per value, yeah, there's way cheaper alternatives out there that are just as good, if not better, and are again, way cheaper. Would I repurchase? No. <laughs> I would definitely try out other colors if I got them as samples because it is a comfortable formula to wear. However, I'm not gonna buy a Dior lipstick anytime soon. Sorry, Dior. I'm sure you really care. So yeah, that's it for me. It's very late now. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today. If you enjoyed this video, do leave a comment down below. Give me any feedback you might have. Have you tried out this color or any of the dupes of this color? I really like that it's named 999. It's like, of all the colors, like this is super iconic, Dior Red. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with a friend if you think they would enjoy it as well. Make sure you follow me over on Instagram at Seaside Photo Beauty. And I will see you all tomorrow for my next beauty video. Bye.